I am a third year computer science major. I landed two software engineering jobs and I am literally going to go through this video and tell you six things I wish I knew when I started to make the absolute most out of my coding degree. These pieces of advice could literally make or break your career, so lock in. Number one, pay attention in your first few classes. Look, I know this one might be obvious, but it's very important because if I did this, I wouldn't have had so many gaps in my fundamentals because your first class, maybe your first two classes are going to be insanely easy. You might even feel like you don't even have to pay that much attention into those classes just because of how easy they are, I promise you. It's a trick. My first class, Intro to Computer Science, had me under the impression that I was just a genius. So since I was just a genius, I thought that I could put most of my attention towards my math classes. And I was just so wrong, by the way. Your first classes of computer science are literally laying out your foundations of coding. And if you don't lock in now in your early stages, you're going to fall down a rabbit hole of trying to catch up and fill in gaps in your fundamentals. Number two, use AI, but don't rely on AI. All right, it's true that nowadays you do not need to be writing code line by line like it's the early 2000s. But depending on where you're from, your degree is going to take three to four years regardless. But if you're like me, your journey might get extended because you didn't pay enough attention because you were too busy using AI. So just make the most out of your time. The last thing that you want to do is graduate with a computer science degree and not know anything about the degree or how to use it. because using ai will lead you down two different paths the first path is it will just be able to do all of the coding homework for you and you'll learn nothing or the second path is it will have no clue how to solve your specific problem that your professor gave you and you'll fall down a rabbit hole of this isn't the right answer what's going on and it'll just completely waste your time number three your teacher's coding style will confuse you for me when i started my first computer science class i really adapted to my first professor's coding style not realizing that everyone has different styles of coding some go from top to bottom others jump to the hardest tasks first others will go from the easiest to the hardest this could leave you pretty confused if you adapted to just one way of coding. So be adaptable and understand not everybody codes exactly the same. Number four, meet your classmates. Look, I get it. You just want to go to class, then go home. But people don't understand how far introducing yourself and giving a handshake to whoever's sitting next to you will help you throughout that entire semester. Because one simple handshake and greeting could leave you with a potential study buddy for the entire semester. Number five, don't cheat. Now this should be obvious but the type of cheating I'm talking about goes hand in hand with meeting your classmates because there's two different types of cheating. The first type of cheating is just getting the entire coding assignment done for you and you don't learn a single thing. By the way, don't do that. Then the second type of cheating is when you actually meet your classmates and then sometimes you guys will like strike a deal where someone does this week's assignment, then someone does the next week's assignment. You don't wanna do this one either because it will leave you with major gaps in your knowledge because you offloaded the work. And number five, get an internship. Don't get comfortable where you are with going to class, going home, going to class, going home, and rinse and repeat. If you actually want to make the most out of your degree, this one is going to be the most important. You need to be trying to get any type of experience under your belt as a software engineer whether it's tutoring, teacher's assistant, anything. If you wanna know how to get these internships, I made tons of videos on breaking down the process of getting one. But if I were to say one is the most important, I would say to build projects that recruiters find interest. This would require you to learn skills outside of your class curriculum. Because as of right now, you probably don't have any experience under your belt. So your coding projects are actually going to play as a replacement for the missing work experience. So build something innovative. If you need help, I created the Developer Accelerator that will walk you through step by step to landing your first internship. It talks about building coding projects, learning the right skills, how to optimize your LinkedIn and resume so that recruiters notice you, as well as some content on LinkedIn. Because I, I personally feel that having a presence online will significantly help your chances of landing a high paying job. Anyways, those are my five tips. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and comment down where you're currently at in your computer science. Until next time, peace.